Pitt's Chancellor-elect Joan Gable was back at the University of Minnesota today with a July 1st start date here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, but her first one-on-one -on -one local television interview, KDKA's John Delano quizzed her about a number of issues, including her controversial $1 million salary. Pitt's first woman chancellor, Joan Gable, says she's energized and ready to roll at Pitt. When I'm feeling focused on what I'm working on, when I feel passionate about the work we're doing, I can really go all in. And I, I think that's necessary to do this kind of work. And uh, fortunately, that's something that I, that I come to easily. With a son in his junior year at Pitt, Gable knows all about Pitt's high tuition. Now well over $20,000 for Pennsylvania students. What can you do about the tuition problem? So I'll start by saying I'm paying full out-of-state tuition. The question we have to ask ourselves is how, what does it cost to create quality? And is it worth the investment? And is the university doing everything it can to hold costs either flat or when possible down? Gable says a pit education must be worth the tuition paid and that financial aid be available to many. Pitt depends on support from the legislature, which has flatlined in recent years. Gable hopes to see that increase. I asked the new chancellor about academic freedom at a time when some students and faculty try to shut down speakers from the left and right with whom they disagree. We live in a, a society where we very much hold dear the First Amendment to the United States Constitution, which guarantees a right to free speech. And you can say whatever you want. But another right that we have is you can also say that you don't like it. You can react to it. You can respond to it. You can protest it. Gable, who is an attorney, says that hateful free speech can be painful to some, but is allowable unless it violates the law. And we can respect the Constitution without endorsing the words that come out of the mouths of those speakers. Finally, I asked Gable about her new salary at Pitt, $950,000, which with bonuses will go well over a million dollars. Do you think that a university president is worth a million dollars plus? <laughs> I don't know that there's any way for me to answer that question. Gable says it's the marketplace that dictates salary for multi-billion dollar operations like Pitt. I think it's good management for the board to look at the marketplace and expect that the uh, chancellor at the University of Pittsburgh would make what the market dictates. And I think that's where we landed. Again, Gable's salary was set by Pitt's board of trustees. John Delano, KDKA TV News.